What's up, everybody? Today, we are going to be looking at Pretty Soja Sailor Moon Art Book Number Four, if that makes any sense. <laughs> anyway, of course, this is the Naoko Takauchi Art Book for Sailor Moon, uh, Arc Number Four, the Dream Arc. Um, it's the only Japanese uh, art book that I have by her. Um, my the first arc and the second arc that I do have, they are all in Chinese version, which is, in, of course, in paperback. But yes, I bought this a couple of years ago. Well, it wasn't a couple. It was a long time ago, but I love it. It's great. Personally, I would love to have a hardback cup edition of the uh, the super arc, but, um, you know, hey, it is what it is. And I can't remember how much I paid for this, but that's neither here nor there. So anyway, let's get into it. We're going to just flip through and stroll through this and we'll provide some commentary if there is anything that I want to talk about. Oh, the first thing I do want to talk about is this cover. Oh, I'm just so mad. I'm so mad because I admire her style so freaking much and I have emulated it as best as I could. You know, of course, you can never be exactly like your favorite manga artist, but at the same time, your, their style sort of, you can see the influences of their style in your work. And this is a perfect example of what I've always shot to sort of create for myself is these beautiful images like this. And this is just gorgeous, it's just gorgeous, I'm just telling you. So we're gonna flip through today. Ooh, uh, I don't wanna, I probably should increase that. But anyway, yeah, look at this. It's so gorgeous. Look at that. I love how she uses actual craft material like this frame here in the image. Perfect. You can see like the little accessories that are actual, you know, prints of beading, beading work, nothing drawn. This is all kind of weird, uh, not weird, but real based. And then the drawing inside, just so perfect. Look at this, this is a really light image. Look, you can see some booty cheeks and oh girl, no, we're not messing with her, but yes. <laughs> cuteness, cuteness overload. Of course, this is was one of the covers for the actual uh volume. Which, which volume was it? I can't remember. I think it was the first volume. No, it was the the do 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 18. Okay, something. 15th volume. Uh, Chibi Usa and Pegasus. Do -do 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 -do. And I really love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Just so gorgeous. You know, and I just love her use of colors, her composition. You know, it, 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 sometimes she goes straight from color blocking, sometimes she goes from just smooth compositions, and I just love it. I love how their hair matches their, you know, their respective colors. Although Venus always seems to get away with having yellow instead of orange. I wonder why. One of my favorite, this casual look here. Look at them. They are so cute. They almost look like totally different, a whole totally different manga series right here. They are just so cute. Look at uh, Haruka. I absolutely admire this picture so much. It's just gorgeous. And Venus in here, well, Minako. Then we got this stretch here. We'll see if I can put this all in the frame. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I love those. You know, every every arc she has like a, a, a crowded image featuring every character within that particular arc, and this is gorgeous. Alright, and the bathing suit and image, love this. I remember just being so fascinated with this, this particular picture. Like, look at the juice there, <laughs> the juice, <laughs> the hips, it's so gorgeous, I love this. Beautiful, just gorgeous, just, just, just gorgeous. Very clean, very slick. It's almost like a whole different manga series. I absolutely love this picture. I love all of her artwork. I mean, I just, you know, you just got to freaking love it. Gosh, she's amazing. And the thing about it is that she's, she's not, she's really kind of 
not simple, but not complex either. A beautiful image with a nice red theme, strawberry theme. One of my favorites, of course, Jupiter. Oh, I keep saying there. <laughs> Makoto, she looks so radiant right here in the middle, in the center of the whole picture. I would say the same for Ray as well. Very radiant. I love this look here. Another beautiful composition picture. You notice the inner Sinishi and the outer Sinishi, the leaders, are both both have their eyes open because they're watching while everybody sleep. Everybody sleep, and Minako and Haruka are watching out. Hey, this just, isn't this just gorgeous? Come on, it's just gorgeous. Like, how do you do stuff like this? Classic picture. Daring with this cute earring in. Looking sexy as always. Uh oh, there's some glue in here. Where the hell did that come from? Oh my god. Definitely can't sell this book. Da -da -da. Of course, all these beautiful romantic shots, couple shots, looking beautiful as always. And I love this. I don't know what she drew this image on or how she transposed it onto this particular paper. If you can really notice, like the little cracked paper. But I love that. And I love how she, the actual beads in the image, they're real beads. You know, they're not drawn. The little dots, they're all real. And of course, the Dolly effect here. Which I've always admired. Nipple action. But yes, they look great. It's a cool picture. Beautiful as always. Gorgeous. They're giving me like hippie babysitters club right here. Yes. Loving it. Feeling it. I wish you could see Ray in here. She the one who has the best outfit, but you can't even damn see her because of the crease here. And these were the covers for the little Super S specials. She's making the rice. You better make that rice, girl. Very cute picture. One of my favorite images. Oh my. God's image is so amazing. Oh, I'm so jello. I wish I could do this. Gorgeous. This of course is gorgeous as well. Just look at look at all that. The composition of it all. Man. And this is kind of what I mean by the color blocking here. Like the, the black and white with the yellow and the red. And then this full composition here of all the colors blending in together. That's what I mean that she does. Awesome as always. Don't too much care for Chibi so We all know that though. In the manga she's okay though, I guess. Another cool picture. Once again, the dollies. And then how she uses the actual beads there. Just, just gorgeous, man. Really love this little period looking image. Cuteness, cuteness overload. This is so, uh, this is too cool. I love this. And here she is, she used it, used, used it. <laughs> she used it little images of actual fruit and put it in the background with the dolly. I mean, mm, that's what I'm talking about. That just, ugh. That magic. I've always admired her style and I've always tried to implement that in my own drawings. Oh, this little cute little school picture look here. Look at that, they're maids. I guess this goes in conjunction with this image. Yeah. Little maids or waitresses or whatnot. Yeah, definitely goes in conjunction with the other one. Cute. I love the little braids. Love it. This is an interesting one, how she did this one. Really interesting. 
And I love these little sort of single shots here. So nice. Ah, just love them. So cute. We just need her, Nyoko Takauchi, to just do a video where she's just straight up just drawing. Like, just give us the whole process. Another single shots here. Single pics. Sort of the PNG images you can use. And they're super uniform. Yeah, I love this little black little city in the back. It's made of line work. The little stamps of stars and the moon. Wonderful. And how it just pops out among this pink here, the pink border. You just better do the damn thing, girl. Just do it. Gorgeous. There it is again, that composition. Oh my God. I need to understand. I need to fulfill it. I need to hear it in my heart. Just how gorgeous this is. Love this one as well. I, they got some juicy thighs too. Look at Ray's thigh. Taylor Mars's thigh. It's pretty juicy. I know that's kind of weird, but I mean, they're just so full body, is what I'm saying. I'm trying to say. You know, sometimes she can draw the, you know, Neko Takauchi can draw them too thin, you know, and model esque. And then sometimes, girl, she give them some little, you know, some little juice, some little firmness, some little curves. This is gorgeous as well. You know, the little trolloping Pegasus going through here, giving them the wings of fate. Not really, but. <laughs> yeah, I got that point. All right, two cover shots. Here they are. Implementing a little bit of their powers there. You know, the Rhapsody, Beauty Shock. Sniper, Oak Evolution, and of course we have the Outer Sinenshi with their their materials, Space Sword Blaster, Submarine Mirage, Dead Silence, or Silent Wall, whichever one, and Deadly Screen. I love Pluto. Look at her hair. It's supposed to be a little bit more greeny, but she drew it black here, and I think it's sexy. Oh yeah. The Amazon Quartet. My favorite one of these girls was always, I want to say it was Jun Jun. Hell, I don't even know I can say Ceres Ceres, uh, if I say her name right, Ves, Vesu Vesu, Paula Paula, Jun Jun. I think I said their names right. But anyway, it was always the green one. And I don't know why, because with the exception of her, I don't think that their characteristics was, was that distinguishable. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know, their attacks were different, but I don't think their, you know, their character, how they, you know, performed was all that distinguishable, distinguishable from one another. We just knew that she was like a baby. And I think I may be looking too much into that as it regards to anime and not the manga, which of course, later on they turned into the Guardians for Sailor uh, Chibi Moon. But anyway, Luna, Diana, and Artemis in human form. Once again, the Dolly Effect dolly dolly effect with the little beads which are all real just gorgeous girl just gorgeous just oh just, just oh just uh, yes the handsome tuxedo mask and i love i'm just living for this earring i'm just living for it and you know giving off whatever he, he's cool he's cool Another great image of these girls. And she used a softer touch here, you can tell. Probably the Copic markers and not so much paint, I want to say. A watercolor. Epic image as always. Whenever you see this image, you just have to stop. The leaders are front and center. And I just love how this operates. It's just amazing. So gorgeous, man. Look at this. It, 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 I'm just mesmerized every time I see this image. 
all the Sailor Guardians. And here she is in her eternal outfit. Sort of like, you know, as, this, this the, as the art progresses, you know, the actual, this book is actually going in conjunction to how the art progresses, I, I want to say, like as the image is revealed or published. And then we have this cool one here. Mm, look at that. It's amazing. And then the other side. Even more amazing. Just amazing, right? And I think that's it, boys and girls. We just flipped through, just a little stroll through this book, volume four. Of course, all the details regarding the paintings and drawings all here in Japanese, which is too, too, too advanced for me to even de to even attempt to decipher. But I wish I could. If you have any of this stuff or know where I can find the details regarding what these this all means, then please link me to them so that I can understand in my spirit what I'm looking at. Look at this draft picture. Oh, 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 wait, wait. One of my favorite pictures. This is from the previous volume. Damn it, I wish I had it. Then here's a letter from Neko Takeuchi. What did she write though? Sucks, I can't read. It'll take me, I can work my way through it. I know that says Sailor Moons. Fourth volume. Otodo Kishimasu. Eh, 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 my Japanese sucks. 1996. I can read that much. And then we have the ending photo drawn. Sexy, right? Just amazing. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I just wanted to stroll my way through this book. Absolutely love it. And we'll see you next time.